<coughs> My password was apt. I still have this command set. No. That's not the one I was looking for. Ah, uh, whatever. I click everything. Can't. Can I move the camera? No, I can't. Oh, look, my game is about to crash. It's no, probably just. No, no, gonna... it doesn't. No, it's going to take a moment to load, but it's not going to crash immediately. Purple. <clears throat> You know what? I'll pick green. Just for consistency's sake. Turn you off. What'd you turn off? Full size textures. <coughs> Maybe I misclicked and disabled VSync. Maybe. Yes, smooth motion. I heard you say that to Archer earlier when you were trying this game before. Yeah, you yeah you want uh, well. It's with any game I've noticed that if you don't have the um, full textures enabled, some cards will show up bad. Like in the Hero Quest mod, if you don't have it enabled, some of the cards will be black. Oh, uh, some of the cards are black uh, when I don't have it enabled. Indeed, yeah. No, I thought uh, it was because of the camera movement. With no, this no. game, if I have it enabled, uh, my f my frame uh, rate drops uh, when I move the camera around. Yeah, it's because of the high end, how high end the textures are. When you turn it off, the textures are loading. It tries to load a smaller texture, which makes the game try and move smoother. But sometimes it doesn't load textures at all, which uh -huh. is a little odd. Like in the Hero Quest one, some textures just don't load at all, even though they're not high res. Oh well. Next patch. Cool. All right, so should we? We have a couple options here with three of us. We could play free for all, in which we all outfit ourselves and trying to kill everybody else. We could play um, uh, where the person that we're attacking is the person to our immediate left, um, so that you have a clear target. Uh, we could play raid mode. Uh, where I'll play as the boss, and you guys can try and team up against me. Is there all options? Those are the three big options. I think I like the clockwise one. Rather than free-for-all? Kind of. Since kind of has more... Let's say you did. Free-for-all, clockwise, or raid mode. Yeah, I I kind of had it with uh, with raid mode today. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You don't want to get revenge on me. <coughs> yeah, I'm 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 cool uh, whichever way. All right. Well, if Gray wants to do clockwise, we'll do that. So, or it's. Background though. So here's the way it works. In this, you'll be attacking, whenever you attack, you attack the person to your immediate left. However, you can attack bases to either your left or your right. 
So since there's three of us, you can attack either one of our bases. If there were more people, then it would only be t like bang. It would only be one to your left or right. <clears throat> no, I meant. To. So this is all like the DC deck builder. You're going to have cards that you used to buy, but you're also going to have these cards. Rather than being melon or melons, lemon cards, they are actually useful. These are attack cards. These are purchase cards. Mm -hmm. So the ones with the, the golden circle, you use those to purchase anything on the line, just like in DC Deck Builder. The cost is here in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, <clears throat> cards replenish immediately when purchased, on, even on your turn. Ooh. And some cards will have synergies, like this card here. When you play it, it gives you two trade power. If you play another of its type, mm -hmm. then you would also get four authority. Authority is your... Duration. Yeah, for authority is your hit point. So if you played two of these, like let's say you had two Federation shuttles, you would get four purchasing power and eight authority. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So playing anything along the same party lines, as you can see, they will give you certain synergies. Oh, that's awesome. Now, this is an outpost. Those are like location cards. You play those and they're always in play for you. But you'll notice they have a health value in the lower right hand corner over here. That is how much damage someone can do to destroy it and put it in your discard pile. Now, you have to do it all at once, so you can't chip away at it. You can't say, like, if I only got to attack this turn, I couldn't attack you at all because you'd have this blocking me, and I'd have to kill it all with a four hit. A four hit. Outposts completely block for you, so if you have an outpost, they have to attack that before they can attack your help. But regular bases, there are, there are regular bases that aren't outposts, those are optional. You don't have to attack those. And when you attack somebody, do you get their authority or do you just destroy it? You destroy it. Okay. You're basically, what you're doing is because we're basically in charge of our own armadas, you're basically reducing their, uh, their um, faction's strength. So your authority is your faction's strength, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense. So, go ahead and shuffle up. Let's, we'll determine who goes first. <clears throat> and then play goes clockwise. Turn. Still drawing yeah. five cards? Uh, no, yeah. don't draw until we turn to determine who goes first. No, no, no. I, I just meant the, uh, the usual hand is five cards. Uh, on a normal turn, yes, but it'll be a little bit different in the very beginning. Oh, okay. So, I attack you, Kage. Yep. No, you attack uh, Gray. He's to your left. Yeah, you attack me. I attack Kage. Kage attacks you. All right, he's too. But you my are left. Yes, But you are able left. to destroy the outposts and bases of anyone else, right. if you so desire. Yeah. Uh, if you're destructive. What to do? What to do? Perfect. All right. Turn that camera around. Uh, what's with the space field? I got a one. That's for scrap, when you completely oh, okay. destroy something. Oh, scrap, so, yeah. <laughs> so that that reminds me, if you look at four. this one, four. four. Who didn't roll? Dwarf, roll. Oh, yeah, dead. Uh, roll dead. for who goes first. Dead, roll. You got to beat a four. Four, five, six. And you don't. So, Gray goes first. All right, so five. this one, you'll notice it's got a trash icon on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's a card that allows you to scrap itself, and if you do, you gain the ability that it has. So, and you don't lose the abilities that they have in play. You like, you have to play the card in order to scrap it for one, mm -hmm. right? So, if I played this card, I would get five attack power, card draw. If I had played another Star Empire card, I would also uh, have my target opponent discard a card. And then I could choose to scrap it to also draw a card and destroy a base. Mm -hmm. So you still get whatever it has on it. So since you get to go first, you start with three cards. Three. Wow. Three. That's I go nice. next, so I start with four. And then um, Dead Planet gets all five. So don't forget to shuffle, by the way, if you haven't already. Shuffle, yeah. Now, this is the kick deck, the Explorer. Those are always, and as you can see, there's 10 of them. And it's just like the kick deck in DC Deck Builder. It's an Explorer. It's worth two points. You buy it to get two points. 
but you'll also notice you can also scrap it to get to attack. Now, explorers are a little different than, the, say, the kit cards in DC Deck Builder. And in the DC Deck Builder, you destroy them, they're gone for good. In this, they just go right back into the explorer. Okay. So, there, is there anything like that you really have to scrap? Like in DC Deck Builder, there's weaknesses and vulnerabilities and everything. Those are make sense to scrap. No, a lot of these are just scrapped to get some kind of special. Feature. So this one is not as useful as it would be in DC. Uh, except for you can also, it's just like any deck builder, reducing the amount of starter cards you have allows you to draw your more powerful cards. Okay, but still not as critical since there's only like 10 starter cards. All right, so we start with you, Gray. Yeah. <clears throat> well, not exactly. Oops. So you get three trade. Yeah. You know, I get the, the RAM. Let me solve right. I mean, I like machines. But there will be five damage. And since I'm... Uh, I guess I'll go with the RAM. Let's go. Alright, that leaves you with no trade, so put everything in your discard, draw up to five. My turn. I have four trade. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think I will take that. Will you buy it? Can take a look. And you forgot to end your turn. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Dead. now all right so that's two damage to gray so take two of your authority out and just go ahead and put it in this bag in the center and you have three trade free trade agreement okay So go ahead and put all those in your discard there, and it is Gray's turn. Don't forget to end your turns, by the way. <clears throat> so we have two attacks. And I can already draw, right? Yeah, you have to draw up five at the end of your turn. All right, so I take two damage. I guess I can buy the Federation Shuttle and the Missile Boat. boat. All right, which are you drawing first? I think I'll go with the missile boat first. All right. Well, not the matter. Oh, damn. The row is very expensive today. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see what I can I, do. I know what's coming. What One damage. Doing? There it is. Nothing for four, huh? I guess I'll take two explorers then. Gray forgot to end his turn. Oh, shit. Whoops, I just tossed a card by accident. Here, oh, there it is. All right, All right. five trade.
There's five attack coming your way. Okay, let's see what you've got. Yep, five. So five damage to me. And you've got one, two, three, four, five trade. Yep, nine of the bed cruiser. Good. War world outpost. Oh. And this thing goes into this card, which means I can draw it again if it gets destroyed, right? Yes. Okay, and does it attack every turn, or how does it? Yes. Do? Oh. Every turn you get whatever it gives you. That's... I guess that's what I'm going to buy then. May as well. Oh. Uh, why is everything so expensive? Anyway. Oh, thanks. Yeah. All right, one damage, four trade. I guess I'll get the missile boat. That's two, so I'm left with two, and I'll get an explorer. Four trade and one damage to Gray. Wow, that's a pretty powerful card. Oh, my turn already. Okay. So I think I'm going to scrap the wiper. Okay, well you can't, oh hold on, let me see. You may scrap a card in your hand or discard, so you want to scrap your viper here? Yep. Okay, so that doesn't go into play because it was in your hand. Yep. So that gives you two damage to me. And three trade. Well, not many choices. You don't explore or trade pot. It's kind of annoying that these cards are not all uh, orientated the same way. I agree. I'm not. I think the only way they could fix that is by making the horizontal cards a separate deck, because you can tell the game that it's a, a horizontal deck. I mentioned that to the guy that scanned it in. So maybe if it's not too much work, we'll see an update to it. But I have a feeling we might not. It is kind of annoying. But when you zoom in, yeah. just so you know, Q and E will rotate the card in your zoom view without rotating the actual card. Yes, I've, I've been doing that. Oops, sorry. Okay, so... That's a pretty expensive lineup, mostly. Seven damage. Wow. Four trade, but once again, not much. So that leaves me with one. Hopefully it's a one card. It is not. So... Oh, hang on. If you do damage to me, I can use my cards to defend, right? No. So how does that work again? Uh, do you have a location card now? Okay, so you play this. This is a location card, so that's in front of you and is always in play now. I have to do four damage to that before I can attack you. Oh, and I see. When you play it, you get the option of what it does because it has options here. So the same as this. All right. So you now have the option of getting three authority or two attack from this and one authority or one trade from the other one. Doesn't this one trigger because of the uh, second outpost? Now it is, yeah, because they're together and they're synergizing, you will get this two damage as well. Oh. 
So you have to decide how you want to play those now. And I decided for the rest of the period that, that they are here. You decide for this turn. I have to decide each turn. Each turn. Uh... Sorry, and authority has used for? Health. Health, health, health. Ah, uh, I see. Um, no, I'm going uh, full in the attack and the buy mode. Okay, so, so you're going to get three authority three from... And... Five, five, seven, eight attack? What? Huh? No, you would get one. If you go attack with this... That's uh, four, five, six. So you have six attack. The only way you could get this attack is if you scrap the card. All right. And what's what's this uh, blue marker here then? That's federation. Stevie. You've got a federation bonus, but are both federation cards, so you get that federation attack. I see. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm I'm going in full uh, full attack and buy mode. So you're going to buy with this one and attack with this one? Yes. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five damage to, to uh, gray. And one, two, three, trade. <clears throat> uh, really? Hang on. Uh, where is that big card pile again? No one here. I can buy a missile bot or a kick pile for all, both only for two. Mm -hmm. might, be, might make more sense to use authority on this one. All right, you have to make your choice. If you're, are you going authority with it? Yeah. All right. Doesn't, doesn't really make much difference. All right, let's see. What two cards can I pick? Another can explore, or I can pick the bot. <laughs> yeah, that, that may be, that may come in. Uh... Well, see, look, that one trade may have been useful for you. Yeah. So what I can tell you this is, you don't have to choose it immediately since they're in play. Like when you played them, you you had to pick them basically, but um, each subsequent turn you can choose those whenever you want. So one damage to me. Yep. Four trade. Well, not really all that exciting stuff. All right, that leaves you with three. Jeez, it's so expensive. I know, right? I can't really afford anything but an explorer. All right, so grab one. Wait, how much is that? Yeah, okay, that brings me down to one. All right, so one damage. Uh, nope, that's not going to happen because you have outposts. What are your help posts? Health, five and four. So even if I scrap them, I can't do the damage. Two, three, four, five. Can't buy anything. chat so quiet you got people watching and they're not saying nothing <laughs> all right so stealth needle you get to use that as a ship that you've already played this turn so you can duplicate your scout or your viper and then you have the choices over here as well he's getting the best cards so far it seems let me see well that's good because <laughs> Uh, grasp, grasp of the game is uh, perfect. Let me think. I'm using uh, authority on this one. Okay, so you're just going to heal up three on that one? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna... Let me think. I can get a maximum of five. 
Pretty mix. Gonna buy one of these. Oh. I just picked the entire pile. Yeah. But, so yeah, that leaves you card. with That's, the one I'm here. Gonna not use this one and I'm gonna copy this one and use so authority take... on this one as well. So take two damage, okay. So two yes. damage and you're using another authority, okay. No. Gee. Oh, and another two damage from the synergy here. Oh, to, uh, is, oh why she still synergy as well? Ouch, kind of hurts, you know. Yeah, well, in a moment here, hopefully I can get rid of those, but... You, you uh, put the... Uh, you're welcome. You put the authority in my bag, right, Kage? Hold on, one more. Yes, I did. Thank you. Let's see what he's got Much here. Much appreciated. So. All right, so you've got War World for three damage. You've got a Ram for five. So you've got a total of eight. What else you got? Well, I've got <clears throat> purchasing power. Okay, so you've got eight. Now you can decide where that eight goes. You've got a five and a four here, and you've yeah. got me. I can destroy one of. I can destroy one of them and then spill damage elsewhere, right? Right. So if you wanted to stop him from attacking you, you that's could destroy that. That's what I'm going that. to do. That's what okay, I'm going so to five. Anyway. Um, that leaves you with okay. So five damage to that. That leaves you with three to do damage to me. I don't want to do yeah. I can. And then you've got three trade. Which gets me another explore. It seems. Whose explore is this? I think that's. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, yeah sorry. Bot. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Can you destroy a second thing as well? All right, so I'm going to use my missile boat to destroy a viper. So let's see, that's two, that's three. That's not enough to destroy the outpost, damn it. Repurchasing power. Seriously? <sighs> Damn it. This game is going so awkwardly. I know, right? Uh, so if you can attack an outpost, I don't take damage also? It, because it's an outpost, yeah. I have to nice. destroy it in one shot. Nice. The Sunday of the rhetorical questions. <sighs> oh. Okay, so you're allowed to destroy a card in your hand or discard. Yeah, I'm not sure what card I would want to destroy at this moment. Probably either a scout or a viper, but... Uh... No, <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to use the attack power and the buying power to get... Well, you can do it from your discard pile, you know. If you want to get rid of the Viper there or the Scout here, you can do no. it from your discard. No, I'm good. Okay. So, so you're using, so you're doing um, three damage. What are you using this? What are you using on this? Uh, if you use the trade, you can buy two Explorers. Do we have two Explorers for purchase? Mm, doesn't look like it, actually. So I guess not. Do we copy them this time? Like, do, does this deck get replenished? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because it's mm -hmm. this is the way the physical game was built. So I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's ten explorers anyway. Like, I kind of like the idea of replenishing it since we are digital and everything. It's kind of not really. Yeah, but the game, you know, you think about it, the game is balanced around there not being an infinite number. Well, it's also because you can't really print print infinite numbers of cards. But it's the same reason why the DC deck builder is balanced around having a finite number of weaknesses, and it does say you will only have this number. So you're using that for authority, yep. okay. and then you get two, or you're buying that with two. Yep. That leaves you with one, and you're doing three damage. Yep. Uh, well, you can't because it's an outpost with a defense of four. All right. Well then. So you could scrap that to get rid of it, but I don't know if you want to do that. It's up to you. I'm good. All right. So no damage. Let's see what I have. I have one of every type. <laughs> mm. Nice. 
Not very nice for synergies, but. <laughs> Okay, that's neat. Okay, so that's five, that gives you five damage here. And that gives you three, four, five, six, seven trade. So I'll take my five. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Unless you want to. I well, didn't decide who I'm attacking yet. Yeah, you have that as an option to destroy if you want. <clears throat> so let me see. How much do I have? Five, seven power for buying? You have four power for buying. Four? Or I'm sorry. Yeah, seven. Sorry, I missed yeah. on that. I was wondering if I didn't see some moves or something. All right. What is that? Ooh. You know, Bell Cruiser for drawing a card. <coughs> <coughs> or, well, in the synergy, I'm going to buy that, buy that one. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to nuke his base. Okay, so you have three, four, five. You have five power, so four takes that, and then the fifth one will hit me. This is my discard pile. So I'll have it face up then, please. So that we know the difference. Um, whoops. <laughs> I may not want to push my wall into this card. Yeah. Oh, this will be this will be fun. Okay. Six. I get a Merc that um, I can play as a faction. That faction is going to be Blob. So I can uh, destroy a target base and or scrap a card in the trade row. So that gets destroyed. You jerk! I did. I'll help you, and you do that. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on one second. Ungrateful. Wow, the cutter is insanely useful. Why is there no good cards out when it's my turn? All right, sorry about that. Okay, so that gives me, I destroyed that, and I can scrap a card in the trade row if I so desire. Let's see how much I have here. I, I think oh. six, right? Not yet. Hold on. Take at least 11. Anyway. I have five to play with. I do not want someone else getting You probably that. want the cutter. I don't want someone else getting that battle cruiser, so I'm going to scrap it. You probably still want the cutter. All right, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's 11 damage to uh, you. I already had five here. That's six. Or six. It's five more. So this is eleven in total. Yep. And five, huh? All right. Let me grab that. That leaves me with three. That leaves me with two. Oh, sweet. That bastard. leaves me with one. How can somebody have so much luck? I will take that. That will be my hand. 